The move works by using your opponent's own body weight against him. The first strike can land at speeds greater than 20 miles per hour and can stun your opponent with the same injury producing energy as dropping a bowling ball from over 11 feet onto his torso. By using his arm as a lever in conjunction with the leg sweep, you drive your opponent to the ground. Once he is on the ground, you follow up with a devastating strike to his face. The secret to the move is wrist control. By rotating your opponent's wrist to the maximum extent of its range of motion, the bones of the wrist lock against the bones of the forearm and make it impossible to bring the strong muscles of the upper arm to bear. Then, you can pull your opponent off balance and into a potent knee strike. The combined force of the knee strike and your opponent's forward momentum can be as much as 2,000 pounds, enough to dent sheet metal. The effectiveness of the Pola Kaimau lies not in raw power, but in speed. By relying on your triceps to snap the strikes forward over the elbow, three blows can hit in seven-tenths of a second. The final impact of the strike to your opponent's face can deliver as much as 175 watts of power, more than enough power to stun him or crush the cartilage of his nose. You then add insult to injury, firing one last shot into one of the most sensitive regions of the body, the groin. Pulling off the move relies on two factors. The first is to combine the block and the strike into a single action. This reduces the time your opponent has to respond to just tenths of a second. But the real focus is to aim your strike at the throat. Because as little as 76 pounds of force can collapse the larynx, the strike doesn't need to deliver a lot of force to be deadly. One blow like this and the fight is over. Come on. Shut up, shut